Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moon and in this episode investigate the rising costs of the PR team, the Scottish Government and the SNP Cabinet and try and make some sense of it because the feedback from the Scottish Government's PR team made no sense of it at all and I'll come back to that point. So what have we got? We've got £4 million per year being spent in Scottish Government spin doctors. That's their PR team, their press um, agents, etc. And it's actually £5 million if you take into effect the 17 press officers alone for the Cabinet. I think they've got more spin doctors than Cabinet ministers on the Scottish Government Cabinet. This is nuts, right? Now, these figures, back when Alex Salmond left at um, the last year of his reign, 2013 to 2014, now bear in mind, this was the year where we had the um, referendum. So you'd imagine they spent a few quid, 2.2 million. Last year, 4.1 million. 4.1, and that isn't including the extra million for the cabinet, right? That's separate. And this figure, that was taking you up to the end of Nicola's reign, and the figure is fully expected to rise, rise again this year since Humza came on board. Now, the figures are a bit weird. In 2020, 2.8 million. 2021, 3.4. The biggest single increase they had. Okay? What they said was, that was because of COVID. Right? I'll come back to that. The following year went up almost 10% to 3.7 million. And the following year, 2023, up another approximately 10%, up to 4.1 million pounds. Right? Now get this. The Scottish Government's press office, funnily enough, were asked to comment, and they said staff numbers remain stable over recent years, other than a small temporary peak during COVID response. Let me read the figures out. The year before COVID, 2.8. Then 3.4. Then 3.7. Then 4.1. That ain't temporary. That ain't small. Right? Now, if you did need some, you would imagine it would go up and then it'd come down because you say it's temporary and it was staff. Right? However, they also blamed the rise in the UK-wide national insurance increase. The national insurance increase was temporary, and the employees' bit of that would have been affected by the employee, but the employers' bit went up 1.2%. These figures go up 10%. And don't come down after COVID when you claim there was a temporary rise in staff numbers, a small temporary rise. Yeah. Staff numbers remain stable over recent years other than a small temporary peak during COVID response. Your words. So, as I say, it's weird because the contribution from the employer only went up 1.2%. These rises went up 10 And are likely to increase again this year when the national insurance has fallen back down to its normal rates. How is this possible? This is incredible when you actually consider what these people give in return. The Scottish Government is not prone to great successes in a PR front. The Scottish Government is actually the complete opposite. It is an embarrassment on a PR basis. Your PR team should do two things. Get good stories in the paper about you and stop the bad ones. You tell me, how have they fared on that? Incredibly poorly. But every year, since we act left, it's went up and up and up. Nicola managed to get it up as high as £4.1 million from the figure of we Alec, was it 2.2? 2.2. In 2013-14. Now to be fair, up to 2020 they only managed to lift it 30%. 2020, 
over a six year period. But since then, it's went up and up and up. And the justification is a lot of nonsense. Because the justification ain't na uh, arising national insurance. What I try to do here is pull the old SMP trick. The only trick they've got in their book for spin, and that is, you've guessed it, blame Westminster. It was the raise in national insurance that caused it. I call bullshit on that. Because the cost of national insurance contributions for a small period to the employer was 1.2%. And you're trying to tell us your numbers went down. So if your numbers went down, your wages should have went down, and your national insurance would only have just over a 1% increase on that. So you talk absolute nonsense. And when you fact, I can find this incredible that we have 17 PR uh, spin doctors for a cabinet. And I'm trying to remember when the cabinet reshuffle took place. Remember um, when Mikey Boy eventually stopped being the health minister? There was a bit of a reshuffle, which didn't include Kate Forbes, which was a bit weird. The um, the photograph, the team photograph there, I don't think there was 17 people in the photograph. So you get more people spinning your cabinet than working for the cabinet. Are these people insane? So in total, 5 million quid. And due to rise again this year, you know the arms are boy. And obviously they'll have a Westminster. Oh, in fact, that will it include the Westminster? No, probably not. That'll be the following year. So Hamza Boy likes a bit of PR. He's rotten at it. Well, to be fair, when I say that they've got two jobs and that's one to keep the bad stories out, there is a few bad stories that were about to hit the SNP, which I'm hearing could potentially be coming back to the public front this week. Remember, there was a story on, in a newspaper that just died all of a sudden. And it was to do with two SNP parliamentarians having a clandestine relationship during COVID when we were all uh, tucked up in our houses and in bubble. And myself, I didn't see my own partner for three or four months because I went into a protected bubble with my mother as her care. A home a package was taken away, so I went moved to look after her. And that bubble was not in, well, with my partner. Where, you know, it would have been easier for me. And well, I was doing that, and I imagine lots of people were doing things like that. Some SNP parliamentarians were having a wee bit of, how's your father? Not in the same bubble, because they were both married. Remember that story? Then it just died. So I suppose the five million quid, depending on who these people were, bear in mind, you know, if they were really high-ranking SNP um, officials, Maybe good value for them. But I'm hearing some rumblings that there might be more to come from that story very, very soon. And I'd like to see the response to the PR machine when another one of my stories should air in a national newspaper this week coming. Try work hard for your five million quid. Because my story is backed up with some very, very unarguable facts. And, from what I'm hearing, some complaints into some very high sources again. So I look forward to that. So this 5 million quid comes out that you're spending minimum on PR by the time we take your Scott Gov pot and your cabinet pot and the suggestion it's going to rise. Might need it in the next week, son. And I'm going to look forward to it. So, as I always say, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Put some bits in the comments. I always get good bit of, um, info coming up on that. But most importantly of all, unless you're Hamza, you're cheating SNP people during COVID, or I'll leave it at that. Have a great day. Cheerio bye now.